All aboard the Fat Train to Skinnyville. If you are fat or plump, wanna lose your gut or rump, get on the fat train. Wipe away that frown, watch the scales go down on the fat train. A few weeks from now, people will ask you how you don't look the same. You will smile and grin and say you took a spin on the fat train. If you can see ahead and you've got the will, you will arrive in Skinnyville on the fat train. All aboard! How do you like that song, huh? To get fat train to Skinnyville. Everybody get on board. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it now. Don't forget, share these videos. Let's let's get a whole bunch of people in here, and uh, y'all can share with me. You know your ideas for dieting and all that, and your know, suggestions. Just like one lady, I'm looking at my uh, comments right now. One lady said, "Hey Bob, don't forget to tell people about pickles." <sighs> well, folks, this is Wednesday. What you've seen up to now on this video was filmed yesterday on Tuesday, my second day into it. And uh, I just want to tell you how yesterday went. It went pretty good all day long. Now the smoking, I tell you what, I, I am amazed that I've been able to save the hell with cigarettes. I, I really am. But I think it's because I am so preoccupied. You know, once I post a video, I stick around to see, you know, what when people watch it and comment and I I try to get right back to you, and uh, it's so cold here right now. I have no desire to be outside, so I'm piddling around in here and in the kitchen. And you know, hell, I'm I'm washing dishes that have, that have been just sitting in the cabinets for months just because I got dust on them. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> Anyhow, um, uh, I, again, I want to thank y'all for for watching and everything. But I've got to tell you, I had a setback yesterday. Everything was going great. I had wrapped up my video. I'd only consumed 960 calories for the entire day, but I screwed up. It was about seven o'clock at night, and I'd been up early, so it was about seven o'clock at night, and I was getting ready to turn in. And instead of having another egg or a slice of bread or something, I said, ah, I'm all right. I went on to, I went on to lay down. Well, I slept for about an hour. Woke up when my favorite TV show came on. And oh my God, it hit me and I had to eat. It was terrible. I bet you I ate 800 calories. I had Rice Krispie cereal and whole milk with sugar. I had a banana. I had a slice of bread. I had two eggs. Uh, but when I figured it all up, it was still only like, I think, 1,700 and something calories for the entire day. So the, the main thing is that I did not eat more than I, my body consumed in a day. And I, got, I did some research uh, <clears throat> because you know, we use the, the rule of thumb that 3,500 calories is a pound. And there's a bunch of ex experts out there that say, no, that's not right, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. Anyway, regardless of what it is, that's just a, a good way to sort of, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a guideline to go by. It's not set in stone. Uh, and it says that a, a man my size will need between 2,700 and like 3,500 calories a day just to maintain body function, breathing and sweating and digesting and, you know, pumping blood and all that. So it's the, a man my size used between 2,700 and 
3,500 calories a day. And a good easy way to determine how many calories does your body use at rest. I think they call it the basal metabolic rate. And a real good rule of thumb, they say, I multiply your your weight in pounds by 11. So 11 calories per pound per day. Well, what I did, I did that and I got the high end and another guy says, oh, it's this. So a good, maybe average would be maybe nine and a half calories per pound per day. Okay. So multiply your weight times 9.5 and that should tell you how many calories a day your body needs just to be. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I want to show y'all a, a, a recipe today, real short, sweet and simple, but before I do, I want to show you my potato cooker. I take my, I take my potato, this is a, some kind of a plastic storage container, uh, it's, it is made by Glad, I'm not advertising their product, but it is made by them, and it has a a tear a tear in it right here I don't know if you can see that but the lid itself is broken and what that does is I can still snap this in place but there's an area there about half the size of a pencil that will allow the steam as it builds up pressure to escape so the lid don't pop off and I just pop that in the microwave between three and four minutes depending on the size of the potato and uh, well, I've got a nice steamed potato. Well, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take a slice of ham and about a half a slice of Velveeta cheese, and uh, I'm gonna make me a uh, a little hundred calorie meal here. So I'll be right back. My wife is in there. And she's having to do some work, so. I can't be filming in there, but I'll be right back with a with a finished product to show you one hell of a daggum uh, uh, hundred calorie snack. Be right back. Well, here's my uh, little food for today. Now, each each of those two right there is only ninety two calories. We have a baked potato or steamed potato a slice of ham, a half a slice of Velveeta cheese, onions, jalapeno slices, and Tabasco sauce. And that's only 92 calories. Yum, yum. So anyway, the reason I just showed you that is, is you get creative. The whole idea is not so much that we have to restrict ourselves on, on our food, it's that we Try to span it out. Let's not eat it all at one time. Let's not get in a situation I got caught in last night. I'm so upset with myself. But uh, but you can't beat yourself up. The bottom line is you're you're trying, and you're riding in the, you're riding on this uh, fat train with me. And you know every now and then we might hit a rough patch, but we're going to hang in there. We're going to keep on keep on chugging along. Uh, you know, po body's perfect. We're, we're not robots, we're human beings. We have our own physiological and our psychological and emotional and our you know, needs that just have to, you know, sometimes feel like if you, if you don't get something or this doesn't happen or whatever, you're just gonna go crazy. So that's just the way human beings are. We're not animals. I mean, we're not, we are animals. <laughs> we're not robots, we're not machines. Of course, sometimes I think I'm an eating machine. <laughs> and like a uh, old boy laughed when I said, this, is a, this ain't a fat belly. That is a nuclear, th this is a fuel tank for a nuclear powered sex machine. <laughs> anyway, uh, you take the take little things like that right there, it adds a lot of variety, a lot of flavor, it's not just the same old, same old all day long. Uh, like, let's see, it's 10.30 in the morning right now. This morning I've had an egg, an egg, and I had some uh, uh, vegetable juice. So I've only had 170 calories up through 10.30 this morning. And I'll eat one of those at 11, I'll eat another one at 12. But, uh, 
the mistake I made last night and learned from my mistake is I skipped an hour. Even though, you know, I was going to bed, I should have, uh, you know, uh, I slapped myself for it. I should have gone ahead and had a little something to eat there. If no, nothing else, drink some uh, vegetable juice. But I should have had something because I was still awake at that hour. If you're awake, consume that 70 to 100 uh, calorie item. You know, that way you you don't wake up an hour or two later and it's like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. You know, we're trying to save that for tomorrow morning. Okay, So, I'll, I'll shut up. Tomorrow I've got some more stuff to show you. I uh, just want to tell you how I, did, how I did on Tuesday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the nice comments. I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated. And, you know, please, you know, when, when you watch the video, check out the comments. See what people are saying. Uh, you know, we'll all learn from one another. So, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, uh, I'm going to get on that fat train. Y'all get on with me. We're going to ride that song gun all the way to Skinnyville. But it's, but just like a train going up a hill it's a it's a slow start if you're starting on the incline it's a slow start you know when you're big and fat and your knees and ankles and hips and everything else hurts you don't want to get out there and run you don't want to do no exercise so the only thing you can do if you're really obese like i am especially in this nasty ass weather i don't want to go outside but the only thing you can do is try to cut back on your eating so that's what I'm trying to do. That one plate of chocolate oatmeal cookies was 1,300 calories. And I ate that whole plate, you know, like... <laughs> 1,300 calories. That's craziness. So, you know, I'm going to get that behind me and look forward. And it's all about portion control. It's all about making the decision. Just like quitting smoking. I decided that's it. And my daughters, my daughters in our inch said, Dad, you can't quit smoking and go and die at the same time. It won't work. Well, I don't know why not. It's not like I've got to drive and operate a motorcycle, drive a car and operate a motorcycle at the same time. Hell, I quit, I, I quit the cigarettes, so they're no longer a factor. Now then, I just got to concentrate on my food. So, good luck to all of y'all out there. Thanks for getting on this, on this uh, fat train with me. And, uh, Man, I really look forward to your comments, your suggestions, your ideas, your recipes. Have, and uh, for all of you saying, man, when you gonna get back some more of them tools and some other manly type stuff? Just as soon as this weather warms up, I'm about freezing to death, y'all. Have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.